How's it going guys? We are back with a video here and we're going to talk about the all new event, the milestone event that just dropped in NHL 22 Hut. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, renew the channel here and uh, let's get it going. All right. So here we go. So EA dropped it and uh, this is going to be probably a couple week event. Uh, it's what it appears like at least, but uh, here's what we got right now. All right. So milestone cards in packs. It says until May 20th. So does that mean we're not going to get cards for two weeks? I don't really know what they're exactly doing if they're like staggering them like 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 very very long i'm not sure uh patrick marlowe mark giordano ryan Gatslap are the three msps that we got uh for this week so i mean they look really good cards by the way i'll, I'll show them in a moment but uh yeah they look like very good cards good choices for sure so all-time games for uh for marlowe a thousand games played for giordano and a thousand points for ryan Gatslap. uh then we have some other ones here some event cards with mark andre Fleury. Chris Kreider, Nick Backstrom, and Mark Stahl. 500 wins for Fleury, 50 goals for Kreider, 1,000 points for Backstrom, 1,000 games played for Mark Stahl. All right, so great player he was as well. Uh, the MSP Premium Pack here for the Milestone event as well. Then you have the Ultimate Players Pack, which is very interesting. I opened a bunch of those. You'll see that uh, in a video tomorrow as well on the channel. Don't you worry. Uh, and that's uh, that's it for the overall cards of it. Uh, then looking at the objectives, are there any objectives for it? Let's see. There is not, which is kind of interesting. I'm not not really understanding why there wouldn't be. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, challenges here, and there is. So here they are, the team challenges. So uh, 300 coins. All right, uh, coins, three goal player pack, coins, 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 and a premium four goal player pack, and event collectible coins. Coins and 181 plus guarantee, and then 400 coins and an event collectible. So uh, not really much doing here in the challenges, which is not surprising at all. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's 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 just typical. It really is just uh, typical uh, for for the challenges here, unfortunately. But uh, that's what we got. All right, so let's move on to the packs as well. All right, so similar to other events, obviously, right? So. Uh, here they are. So you got the two, I guess three technically there are. So you have the MSP premium pack, which is like the other ones where you get one guaranteed 86 power up guy and you get the 35 event collectibles with them. So uh, pretty nice uh, buy, I'd say for sure. And then you have the MSP booster pack as well, which is same as the other events as well. You get 186 random power up uh, MSP and then you have to just power them up. And then you have the ultimate players pack, which is 25 items, all 81 plus cards. This pack has not been released all year. Uh, so here it is, 83% for uh, for 99 plus 83 pretty much. 86 plus is 78%, 90 plus is 33%. 21% for a 92 plus and 95 plus is a 7.3% chance. So uh, some interesting packs, uh, different packs for sure. So uh, I like that. I mean, unique packs, it's good. But I mean, obviously we're saying it as well. I don't know why they don't like discount packs at this point in the year. If you're still playing the game, I don't know why you're still getting charged full price for these things. Uh, this is, I believe it's like almost like what, $30 to buy this pack. And you can buy six of them, which is a lot. So they definitely tempt you with a good time. But you know, we'll see if it's a good time in my pack opening tomorrow. But uh, those are the packs for the event. All right, let's lo look at the sets now. What kind of sets do we have for the Milestone event? So here we go. And uh, you have the collectible sets. You have the NHL Milestone uh, choice, which is uh, one of two of the 86s. And then you have the Getzlaff, the Giordano, the Marlowe. And then uh, you trade in 12 silver players and you get four gold players back. So not really, not really a great pack, to be honest. It's... It's whatever, honestly. Uh, so I mean, if you want to do it, if you have a bunch of silveries lying around, sure, go for it. Why not? I mean, there's really no reason, uh, no reason not to, right? So I mean, there you go. That's stuff you can do, right? So uh, the next thing up uh, is going to be the collectibles here, and <laughs> it's exactly the same, right? So uh, what you would expect, right? So trading in two of the 85s get you three event collectibles. Trading in one gets you an 86. Trading in an 87 gets you five. Trading in 188 gets you six. Trading in 189 gets you seven. Trading in 190 gets you eight. Trading 191 and gets you nine. And trading 192 in will give you 10 event collectibles. All right. So same cost pretty much as previous events as well. So that's kind of how it works. I don't really understood how at this point in the year that the events, or sorry, the costs go up. I'm not really understanding the reason for that as less and less people are playing the game. I know they're higher end cards but i'm not really understanding the reason why uh that that it'd be that it'd be the case i mean it doesn't make sense 
that they'd be uh, costing more. But again, that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't understand how economics work and all that. But uh, yeah, all right. So let's look at the actual MSBs here. I'll do a full ranking on these tomorrow as well. Don't worry. So here they are. So here are the MSPs. You got the 98 overall. Ryan Getzai, he's a big boy. 6'4", 227 with wingman, thief, and distributor. Born leader, third eye, truculence. Quick draw and tape of tape are his abilities. 97 excel and 96 speed. 99 shot. I mean, deserving. Very, very deserving. 99 face offs. Uh, this is the end for Gaslav. It's probably going to be his last high end card in an NHL game. Unless he signs with the Players Association, he won't be in the game on NHL 23, unfortunately. So that'll be uh, unfortunate. But uh, Gaslav, a true great player. Honestly, legend, I'd say. He's a great player. So uh, next up is Mark Giordano. 98 overall for 1,000 games played. Spark distributor. Uh, Magician, whatever you want. 97 Excel, 99 Agility, 99 Balance, 99 Endurance, and 97 Speed on Giordano. His shots maxed out. They gave him Silver, stick him up. 1T, Tape with Tape, Ice Pack, and then Gold, Shut Down. So, uh, very good abilities on Giordano as well. So, I really like Giordano's card. And then last but not least, Patrick Marlowe. Pretty much a 99 overall card. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's very, very good. So, uh, I definitely think that Giordano is a card that uh, should be... Should be definitely uh, made if, if you're a big Sharks fan or just want to really stack and crack cards. So uh, he's got Silver Unsolvable Force. He also has Wheels, Close Quarters, No Contest, and then Gold Born Leader, which is always nice to go. Uh, obviously on your first line, Born Leader, because it really is a pretty cheesy ability, I'd say. I know it costs four now, but still, scoring goals and then getting a, an energy boost to me is uh, very, very much so worth it. So definitely I would do that. I would use that for Marlowe. And uh, those are the MSPs, right? So some of the other event cards. I mean, Flurry, I'm assuming, probably has post to post. He does. Uh, Backstrom, here he is with third eye. Quick draw and then tape a tape on Backstrom. So pretty nice card here as well. With buzzing, Gladiator, Thief, and Booming Shot. And then you got Kreider, who's pretty good as well. Not just as fast, unfortunately, but uh, they give him Heat Seeker, Crease Crasher, and then Close Quarters as well. So uh, that's uh, what Kreider looks like uh, as well. And then last but not least, Mark Stahl. They give him Spark and Distributor. So they give him Silver Truculence, Silver Ice Pack, and then Gold Shutdown. So decent little card here as well. 93 Excel, 92 Speed. His shots, you know, average 89, 99, 89, and 99. And uh, great defensive awareness as well on this Mark Stahl card. So we got three MSPs this week. I'm assuming we'll get three more probably as well. They usually do half and half when they do these releases. But are we going to be getting three more next Friday? Or when are we getting these? That's the thing. We don't really know exactly what EA you know has in mind. I love the theme of this event. I love milestones in general. I hope they come back as more of a routine thing. NHL 23 for sure. So yeah, I love it. I really do. Overall, I like the event. Wish the costs weren't as crazy as they always are. But uh, yeah, I want to know what you guys think of the event and uh, who you'd like to see in the future. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's. And join Discord, talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. And remember to use code Henrique for 30% off your G Fuel orders. And I'll see you in the next video.